Hi guys, we are on our way to the airport right now. Joe is not happy about taking us. We got David YouTube, we have Lila. <laughs> I'm so excited. Today is the first day that Antonio is on board 100% as my assistant. Yes, finally, finally, finally. I still have Mari, I still have Esme's on call. And this one, this one's just my husband, you know, the very not happy husband right now. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm ecstatic. She's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. So th my, uh, his name is Antonio, and I call him Anthony. Or since I call him Antonio, and I, Delilah was saying that it sounds like it's actually that's our gardener's name. That's what I'm saying. Like it's just the way you guys said his name. I feel like he was like an old senor. Or <laughs> He's this tall young guy. I'm like. It's so I guess maybe we should ask him what he wants to be called. I'm surprised you haven't named him yet. Oh my god, he's gonna be in trouble. He's gonna get fired before he starts. It's 421. I've been waiting for him for a minute. He should have already been here. 60 seconds. 60 seconds, Antonio. Come on. <laughs> Let me FaceTime him. It's stupid. <laughs> Start hugging. Imagine his dad comes out. Uh, there. Hello? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be right now. I'm so sorry. Oh, were you asleep? Yes, I'm so sorry. I. Oh my god, he was asleep. He's asleep. <laughs> give me give me literally five minutes, I'll be right out. Oh my god, Antonio, really? Yes, I'm so sorry. No, this is your right first now. day. It's four in the morning. Leave him alone. Okay. Oh yeah, my we, god. We okay, we can't miss our flight, Antonio. Alright, I'm getting ready. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. His first day. Okay guys, so Today's Antonio's first day. I've been so excited for him to come to work and he is late like he's we might miss our flight That's how late we are good morning guys. Yo, what's up? Oh morning. my god <laughs> more. Taking a little nap. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. <sighs> Mr. Louis Vuitton uh, So what happened? Uh, it's your first day of work. I know I miss yeah, my six alarms. Out. You what missed your six alarms. Yeah. What were you doing? Me? Sleepy, Sleepy. <laughs> I need a, I need to get out of here <laughs> and you need to move the camera and turn the lights off because I can't see behind me. You got it, Joe. Okay, so we're in the dark because it's 427 in the morning. So let's see if we make it to our flight, which is at 6 o'clock in the morning at LAX. And we got a text saying that we are scheduled to depart on time. So the, f the plane is, but we're not. Okay, so we're late because of Antonio. No. Yes, we are. So we are at the airport trying to get... Well, I have TSA too. So here we go on our way to Oregon, and I upgraded myself in the princess to first class. My little the egg. egg. I'm an she, egg. That's her, that's her new name, the little egg. We'll talk about it later. Why I call her my little egg? I'm sure she's dying to share it with you guys. I'm not exposing you, Mama. She's gonna put me on blast. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to tell them why I call you the way we? Do? So. Obviously, you guys saw my mom being dramatic and crying about the whole limo thing. The reason I sent the itinerary to Lacey is because she asked it. And I have those messages, too. I don't know why she said that I just offered to send it to her. She asked me, oh, can you send this to me? I'll pull it up right now. Why are you giving away my itinerary to the, to the quinceañera? I'm very upset with you because that's supposed to be a private thing. It's not for you to give to anybody else. I'm very, very upset. And she was very, very. Upset. I was upset. Yeah, my mom and I just joining us. If you have a luggage, please. My mom and I weren't speaking um, before Lacey Skinsa because she told me that she wishes that I was never conceived. That's not she, what I said. Those okay, are not so my words. Those are not my her words. Her words were, "I want you to go up, back up your dad's penis <laughs> into a little sperm, <laughs> and I wish I could make you into an egg." I said so it. No, I originally said that. Oh, you wish. That I was never born she and I didn't dramatic. say that like, okay conceive but yeah I'm always joking if you guys know like I'm always joking and this little girl was a joke. it was a joke and this yeah. little girl I because you were crying you were really I wasn't mad. crying how about when I told you about the egg I was laughing well, you were being so dramatic so anyways she said that she hates living with me or something like that so then I said oh well you know what I wish I can just turn you back in oh she said I wish you weren't my mother I think that's what you said Pull up the messages. I'll pull them up. I think she said she wished I wasn't her mom. So then I said, oh, well, then I wish that I can turn you back into a sperm and put you in your dad's penis. Okay. And then I said, well, e even better than that, I wish I can turn you back into an egg and put you in my uterus. <laughs> and after I said the message and I heard it back, I was laughing because it's like, who says that? So that's why she's a little huevito now. <laughs> she takes offense to it. You're a little huevito? I am a huevito. She's a little huevito. What? She said my 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> so let me introduce to you guys. This is the new and improved David. David Moreno. Okay, so I go like this, and then if I wanted to get me hot, he gets hot. So I can put him pretty much here, and he feels amazing. Or I put him on my back or on my butt. It's the only place that I put him. Well, ever since David's been gone, David Moreno, my husband, I um, he usually would rub me and put me to sleep every single night. And now that he's been gone, nobody wants to do it. Like my kids are like, sometimes little Renee will do it, Lacey will do it sometimes. Hello, Lola doesn't do it ever. Yeah, it's weird. yeah she, they they won't like to rub me. So. This is what I bought at Costco. It was the best thing ever because it literally feels like someone is touching me and holding me and it's actually kind of heavy, so I like it. So that's David. Even though you were 25 minutes late. Yeah. No, you got there at 420. So I got out like what, five minutes? But you probably should have been at my house yeah. at four o'clock sure. in the morning. So first day of work, he was 25 minutes late. But he made up for it because now he got us our car. He got us in, checked into our hotel early and he checked us into our flight. And we didn't miss our flight. So he, he's back. He's back on track. He's back on track. I'm hired again. He's hired again. Uh, rehired. He, rehired. <laughs> he almost got fired the first fucking 20 minutes that you started working. Come on, David. Let's go. We asked from the bed bugs. Oh, the bed bugs gave us a free stay. It was the worst thing ever. Like we were like all bitten. Like it was bad. Like really bad. Which from like a regular room, we went into a suite. And when we went into the suite, it was bad. Ooh, it looks good. Little huevitos. Where's the huevitos at? <laughs> okay, guys. So guess what? I just woke up. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon, and we're here in Oregon. And the reason for my travel to Oregon is because I'm coming out with my own CBD line and I'm so, so excited. And guess what? I got an email from the uh, manufacturer that it's supposed to rain tomorrow and um, I wouldn't be able to record and show you guys the farm. So we're having to wake up and rush now to the farm so we can get footage so we can actually see where our uh, CBD is going to be grown and all that good stuff. So stay tuned. I'm so excited. But let me show you because I'm going to wake them up. Because my YouTuber that should be recording me is sleeping. And yes, acá anda planchando. I don't know about my team right now. <laughs> well, let's see the other little designer over here. Delilah, we have to get up. We got to go to the farm today. Checking me. It's still Friday. No, 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 I'm not checking you. No, I already checked my phone. Check my phone. email, little girl, since you're so into just being Why nosy are you rosy. The same because I, I just got an email from Anna saying that it's raining tomorrow and that we won't be able to record the farm. You're so lying. get up. Guys, come on. Let's do this. <laughs> Wake up, blondie. Let's go. I'm sober. <laughs> I'm sober. I'm <laughs> sober. <laughs> They're sleeping and they don't believe me. Uh. Oh, that was my titty. Okay, guys, I wanted to show you. Look at my tan. Do you see my, I had my underwears on yesterday. And look at, I love my tan. I'm going to just rinse it off because the lighter cells, I, I smell a little bit like a cup of noodles. Is my shirt still wet? Yeah, it's too dry. Oh, it's fast there, huh? Oh, how wet is it? Let me see. No, it's not that wet. It's not that wet? No, it's really dry right now. Go stand in the sun with my shirt. Antonio! <laughs> I'm not gonna show up here? <laughs> Why don't you try the fucking heater? <laughs> no, it's too hot! So look guys, my robot David needs to be charged. So, here we go. Leave my husband laying down right there. My little blanket. My man right there. Don't mess with him, Antonio. What? There's happy hour. So that's the reason why your life is always a rush. You guys want to do happy hour. But can't you go get the car and it'll be right there? You're gonna take two minutes okay. to... Okay, yeah, let's go. Where's the bar? I don't see a bar. Oh, over here. The effin? What, what, what flavor is that? Blood orange. Um, okay, I'll have that with a stash of tonic. Is that part of happy hour? So happy hour starts at four o'clock. Oh, okay, that's fine. Then I'll just pay for whatever this. I thought we were in a room. And then my hair is super yeah. crazy. I hate the winter. Oh. Um, the winter it's real stiff. 
like, like, a, like a stiff one, you know. Oh my god, that blood orange is. What did I do with it? Did Antonio take it? Oh my god, where's my makeup? I didn't. I just. I didn't go nowhere. Oh, okay, thank God. Hey? Whoa. What? I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Go drunk, Simi. So she gets her creative thoughts. Yes, that's how my thoughts gather. Antonio just texts me, let's go. Let me respond. I'm right here. <laughs> Okay. Hi guys, so I'm so excited. I am here in Oregon at my farm. Not my farm, but my farm where I will be getting all my CBD products. It's all organic. It's farm raised literally look at this right here it's taken me probably almost a year and a half working on this project and i can't be more excited to share this with you guys i literally had to come to oregon myself and como quien dicen a ver mis plantas a ver a ver aquí como como que sean naturales no vaya a ser no más que algo com que compres en internet esto es algo orgánico es algo que va a ayudar a mucha mucha gente and it's gonna really really help honestly this is all my hair i have no extensions i actually actually did a, a study with taking it and not taking it so I wanted to see what the difference was whether I took the product or not so this stuff is amazing and it also not only for my hair for my stress for my jaw I suffer from TMJ it, it, it's it's just an amazing amazing product I, I want to bring you guys along because anything that I put my name behind anything that I'm going to sell I've been in the business for 25 years and I haven't come out with a product because it's got to be something that I believe in I got it's got to be something that I know works and I'm not gonna just stick a sticker on something you know so this this is it right here guys CBD all natural farm raised organic my product coming to you soon is this marijuana it's hemp it's so hemp. it's still cannabis it's actually a genetic breed of both the hemp plant and the marijuana plant so that these guys actually produce a lot more CBD than your regular industrial so this if you dry it and you smoke it you don't get high mm -mm. it's because it has no uh, not a lot of THC in it or what is it yeah it's got less than 0.3 percent THC so marijuana and hemp is both the same plant just I would say like they're cousins these are bred so that the THC is always less than 0.3 and that the CBD goes up to you know 20 percent if you breathe them right and by it being the 0.3 percent that's the legal amount of marijuana you can have without getting high or being pulled over or being arrested for drink or for being under the influence is exactly. that correct yeah. okay how is this like safe for kids because it's not psychoactive so it doesn't make you high it doesn't alter your brain in any way other than just regulating your um, your endocannabinoid system so it just puts you into balance so it's not really like doing anything different to you it's just helping like your hormones and any kind of receptors that you have in your body make sure that they're not out of whack I mean it's a miraculous compound for a lot of people it helps with almost everything you can think of yeah so their whole life mission is just to produce these big resinous flower buds it looks just like the marijuana plant exactly it looks like it it smells like it but it doesn't have the same effects it makes it organic just because we don't add anything other than water so all of our water is fed directly from the creek it comes from mountain runoff there's no farms upstream from us so everything that comes down is literally just like ice glacier melts what? Oh, that's Ben and Jerry. That's Ben and Jerry, guys. They manage the crops, exactly. They manage the crops for us. There's like splinters on my toe, I feel it. There's a splinter in my toe, Antonio. I just got my, I just got my nails done. Look, right there. You see it? Yeah. Oh. Take it out? Yeah, I did take it out. Oh, you got it out. Oh my God, thank you. Who would wear Gucci's animals to a farm? Okay, so here we are in our little golf cart. Wish us luck. You guys, it smells so good here. Like, it's so fresh and I mean, the smell of a marijuana, but it's like, it's hemp. It smells so good. Joe would be so happy here. I'm really excited, guys. I mean, this trip has been already it's so much fun to actually come and see something that, you know, I'm going to carry. Like, I'm going to put my name on it. It's just, oh, oh, oh. it's just awesome. Like, the fact that I came out here to see everything and get so much knowledge from them and explain everything and everything that comes behind to make the CBD product is just amazing. I mean, there's nothing like this product. I believe in it 100%. So, can't wait, guys. 
Stay tuned. Babies, that's where a pollen sack would have come out. And that means it's a boy. Mm -hmm. So it's still like a like a boy, like it still has a sack. Exactly. How and that sack that? has their, you know, right. their little kids in it. So they look exactly the same, but just one has those little sacks and the other one doesn't. Mm -hmm. How do they... So what it is is that they have a little flower. It's the same exact way the other ones Like women do. have a little flower. Exactly. No, no, no. The males have a little flower. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So the pollen sac then turns into a flower, and once the flower blooms, it lets all that pollen fly out. So it looks like, I would say, like a mini jasmine. They're very, very adorable. Oh, look it. It's Delilah. It's the huevito, just like you. One huevito, two huevitos. <laughs> <You're so dumb. laughs> Where are you then? The chicken? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The hen. The hen. Laila, J-Lo just texted me. <laughs> I'm calling J-Lo right now. J-Lo's my friend. She wants me to do her hair. Stop. You watch. She's gonna she answer right now. Yeah. See? Jennifer Lopez. I'm gonna call her right now. I have her number, guys. Hold on. What, what are you bringing me? Hey, Hold on. I'm busy on the road right now, so just text me. J-Lo? Hello? You interrupted me. What happened? With you and J-Lo? Okay. Here are the papers for the trademark. Wow, you're on the ball today. That's you were a little late too. in the morning, huh? So we're officially trademarked, guys. Ow! <laughs> Fucking huevo. You know why you're close enough that I'm gonna stick you back in my uterus right now? Go back where you came from! <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't make me fall. Don't make me fall. <laughs> okay, guys, so I have a meeting, a dinner meeting with the owner of the manufacturer and guess what i forgot shoes i forgot a jacket so i gotta go to ross my favorite store i told you guys so and i have to do this shopping in like 20 minutes <laughs> here we are we're at ross Mom, we have a lot of time dress for less guys dress for less but we have designer bags yes that's okay okay guys so i'm rushing because i didn't bring any boots and it's cold here so i'm taking off gucci sandals to put on ross and yes Mom, i do not care uh, oh my god okay we're gonna hurry up and i got myself a Okay guys, I am so, so tired. We had a really long productive day. I feel like I've been in Oregon for like two days already we had two meetings we went to dinner we went to ross so i'm really tired and tomorrow we have one more meeting with my manufacturer and then it's gonna be a done deal okay guys so i want to say thank you for watching the vlog make sure you subscribe you swipe no you don't swipe on here make sure you subscribe you like you comment and you turn on the little bells thank you guys so much